Hey everyone, in the news this week, a British man died off the coast of Australia after being eaten by a great white shark, and the family made a comment about how he, quote, died doing what he enjoyed, which begs the question what sort of person enjoys spending their time being ripped apart by a shark. Also angry complaints from environmentalists who claim that the COP conference has failed and that the world is burning, but then Greta Thunberg also said that soon the world will be underwater, so that takes care of the fire I guess problem solved. But if you are looking to bring on the apocalypse, then look no further than Eastern Europe, specifically Belarus or perhaps Ukraine, where Vladimir Putin has been rumoured to looking to send in troops and grab himself a new country for Christmas, in much the way that you or I would maybe go out and buy a new television or a car. Although I guess that Putin might end up with a fleet of brand new Citroen C4s if the army misunderstand his order to stock up with plenty of C4. But anyway, what has been happening in that part of the world. Well, tensions between Belarus and Europe have been high for a long time. President Lukashenko is an old school autocrat with no regard for things like democracy or popular opinion. In many ways, you would think he'd be the perfect politician to be working for the EU, but instead they've been at loggerheads over a number of issues and things really escalated back in May when he forced a Ryanair flight in Belarusian airspace to land so that he could arrest a journalist. More recently, he's been facilitating thousands of refugees to travel into Europe. There are daily flights from Turkey to Belarus where the army then helped them to reach the border with Poland. Again, you think the EU would love this guy, it's pretty much the same game that France has been playing with the English Channel. Anyway, people are now being murdered as they try to cross westward and there are rumours of vigilante groups patrolling the Polish forests at night. There are also threats to turn off the gas pipelines this winter and for the environmental campaigners that spend their spare time gluing themselves to the roads, death and human suffering pales into comparison to the idea that energy companies might have to start burning coal to make up the shortfall. At this point though, Vladimir Putin has very generously offered to take it upon himself to invade northern Ukraine and use it as a starting location to police the area if things get more out of control. And that's fairly disingenuous. It's a bit like if I ordered three cases of wine just in case I needed additional cardboard boxes to store Christmas decorations in. In response, so the Polish army is doubling the number of troops on standby, and Joe Biden is probably looking forward to anything that might cause a distraction from the rapidly escalating economic disaster he's presiding over. As for the UK, well, it's a pretty scary time indeed. The last time an aggressive army crossed over the Polish border, it started a world war. But if it happens again, then this time Britain will be fighting on the same side as the Germans for once. Blimey. Not even Nick Clegg's desperate enough to rejoin Europe that way around. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.